Aw, shit. You want some drip? Fresh Crew and Beach Hill Supply Co. have teamed up to bring you the hottest merch in the podcast game today. To pre-order, just send name, size, color, address, and money to BreastCrewTV at gmail.com. Hoodies, $45. Crew necks, $40. T-shirts, $25. And no bitch-ass tags. Warning, the following is intended for mature audiences. If you are not mature or like crude humor, fuck off. Um, <clears throat> viewer discretion is advised. Sorry. Welcome to the Breast Crew Podcast. We got some guests. Don't mind me. Co host, yeah, what are you doing? Co host from Niagara Region. We got Mark Gwynn. How you doing, Mark? I'm not from here. I just am here. Well, that's your prerogative. You can do whatever you want. Just want to make that clear. And <laughs> that is not a mop, everybody. That is Lucas Strom, a.k.a. Farley. Yes. I'm probably going to call him Farley. Yes. Special Long guest. Long I just want to... Yeah, thank you for having me, gentlemen. Special... It's, uh, <laughs> it's been... A, it's a pleasure. Special you unique know. guest from... Across the waters of Buffalo, New York. I'm in Canada. Like, eh. you're, <laughs> you're eh. cut away from Man. Buffalo. You're Mark's borderline. from Niagara. I'm in Buffalo. <laughs> okay. Borderline. From a cut hair away from Buffalo. <laughs> Farley. The crew hey. is all here. Look, if you're not wrong, Buffalo's right in there. <laughs> all I can see is a glary window. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> all right. And I'm your co-host. I'm also your co-host, Dylan Grant. Welcome. The crew is all here. What have you been up to? How's life? Yeah, you a little tired? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got some. I got a good sleep last night. I yeah, that, yeah, you, you know? did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, we were on a fucking. You want to tell them about it? What happened? Yeah, well, I I clocked out during the movie we watched last night on the Zoom call, and uh, I'm proud of it. I don't care. I didn't know I snored that bad. I know I did. I but, swear to uh, God. I thought you were sipping tea. I thought you were <laughs> sipping tea. Or slurping soup or a milkshake or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is he? Is he drinking yeah. a milkshake? Triple thick? <laughs> you guys don't go to Good bed man. with a, a mug of chicken broth? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Bone broth. <laughs> Dude, my grandma's Bone German. She, she's been home <laughs> for two months since this quarantine. The amount of fucking soup broth fill in the freezer in the basement is <laughs> fucking insane. <laughs> Would you really do you guys the import the broth from Auschwitz or no? Jesus Christ, no send up like my god. Like I got a fucking box of metals and shit in the basement and you're being all no, bad like admit that. That is something you do not admit on the podcast. <laughs> of course, of course there's no box of metals. Are you yeah, kidding no, me? No, man. No, no, just the you, diaries and the blood. You were the uh, you guys were the guards. You were the good ones. No. <laughs> Actually, my uh, my my grandparents were uh, give, were told to take over a Polish farm. Holy fuck! Like yeah, Here and uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right into it. That's all right. Listen, is that your middle name, Mark Amelia? Yeah, why? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I'm I'm using the uh, I'm using the Queen's computer, so it's that's what it comes up as. I don't know. Last time I did it, it came up with my name, so I don't know. It's just. Pulling some Tom Poole. Mar- Fuck it, I'm Amelia today. It's a Tom fuckery. So when I say Marky Mark, the E stands for Amelia? I didn't know. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, so we've had some wild stuff happen on Zoom calls, and I think you falling asleep that, like the way you did, was probably the number one entertainment factor we've had on a Zoom call so far. That's yeah. sad. That's been no offense. <laughs> That's how bored we are. There's nothing to do. Dude, my bro, my buddy fell asleep on a Zoom call watching a movie. Greatest thing happened all week. Yeah. This is, I got to enjoy these moments right now because there's nothing else keeping me entertained. Look, man. Yeah. I tried to put these little fucking group watch parties together just to keep everybody's heads on straight so they're not all losing their minds. And just to kind of, it's like the closest thing to a group hangout that we could do. And oh, yeah. The type of shit we're entertained by. So, oh, yeah. Oh, the movie was hilarious until I, you know, I clocked, I clocked it. 
but you got to keep yourself entertained. Like I'm screwing with my grandma every once in a while. I'm telling her a lot of stuff's voice activated. What? Like, like I, the, I told like her back street boys. Or? No, I, uh, there was an, a software update for like her, uh, bell box. <laughs> and so for fun, I was like, Oh, if the remote doesn't work, just start like TV turn on. And I put a little paper between the batteries and the remote. <laughs> she was looking at my boy. So I'm up here like watching Netflix or I was doing something. And all I hear is TV turn on <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> You're going to make her have a fucking flashback. Where are your papers? Where are your papers? <laughs> Peace and scheisse. <laughs> she actually made schnitzel the other night, so, you know. Oh, schnitzel's fire. Oh, yeah. I, I don't eat a lot of pork or beef or veal or whatever it is, but I fuck yeah. with schnitzel. Schnitzel's yeah. nice. What about sauerkraut? Sauerkraut's all right. Um, I never had it. I never had it before. Before I met the queen, she's Polish, so they have like all the family dinners and stuff. Look who there. just walks so in! Happening over there. What's oh, oh my <laughs> god! The hell's this cunt doing here? <laughs> I had no idea he's coming. Yeah, quarantine, dude. I know. Dude. You're alive right now, dude. <laughs> I'm on a pod right now. Who are these fucking idiots? I can't wait till we Farley? get back to the point where we can properly uh, fucking Mark. give people a pound. Oh, we're gonna have to do this elbow shit. Give me a pound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who me? Yeah. yeah. I just did an elbow pound. A bullshit pound. Yeah, it's yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys touch weirdnesses. You're so you're cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're docking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <man. laughs> I never thought of it that way. Yeah. We anyway, we just actually yeah. would be docking. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I never had uh, sauerkraut before I before I met uh, her family. Yeah. So we that family oh, dinners wow. and stuff, and there was always sauerkraut on the table. Uh, you know, it's a it is a strong well, ingredient. Yeah. It is a yeah, very it, strong ingredient. It's not bad. Like you, you mix it with certain stuff, it goes really well. It's oh just yeah, gotta, it's just got to be made properly. as so. Oh yeah, no, my like the thing with my family is that like I like sauerkraut, like a little bit with yeah. on like on the side with something so it's like it's part of the experience like my sister and like uh my grandma will have their experience and then just a freaking bowl of sauerkraut and then just go ham on it and it's just kind of like this isn't coleslaw like what the hell are you doing here <laughs> you just, <laughs> just, just yeah up. yeah well like uh right. she'll she fries it in the pan like with like she makes it but like it's just fried sauerkraut with like some oil vinegar and like maybe some onions too and then just boom i don't get it it's it's uh it's one of those uh i feel like it's it's like horseradish it's just one of those ingredients that's just a little bit you know a little <laughs> bit goes a long way one Dylan, second, one second. sorry i just came back in horseradish that's all i heard yeah dude when you have the mic muted and you're like telling your dog to like shut the hell up <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I, all I, for some reason, I pictured you telling your toddler to like get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, man, I'd be. I'd be God, this marking. This is, you, ever yeah. the, you ever see those like uh, news reporters with like the kids walking in the background? They're like, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's all I could think of. For the wider region, I think one of your children's just walked in. I mean, shift this. Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the um, pardon me. That's pardon pardon me. me. My apologies. What was this going to be for the region? My apologies. North. Uh, sorry. That's all I can think of. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I would do if it was a kid. It's well documented that I'm not ready for kids. So. I uh, oh, know what he'd do. He'd turn around and take his pants off. <laughs> <laughs> I would just. I would traumatize the thing. I'm telling you, for for at least the first like. 10 years of my kids' lives, they're not going to be around them. You're not going to be around my kids. <laughs> Why? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you're this. clearly a liability. Yeah. I got a liability. The conversation we yeah, have yeah. about babies and how you handle frustration with them is you <laughs> your pants off. Look at no, my eyes and take their pants I'm off. I'm just saying, I've never done it. I'm just saying it's an option. 
So, Mark, you're saying that he has a problem with him taking his pants off and you're going to introduce him to your kids once he's there in their teens? His solution- yeah, that's a smart move. Yeah, wait, t- <laughs> wait. Yeah. yeah, wait till they're teens and introduce them to the man that takes off his pants. Yeah, what, what a there smart move. What <laughs> a smart move. I can just picture him walking in hand in hand with his child. Okay, here he is. This is Happy the man. Happy birthday. Oh, he looks like he's in a bit of a mood today. Yeah, huh? yeah. Why is the cake so big on the 10th birthday? Dylan <laughs> pops out no pants. Hey! It's Uncle hey, Grant. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, you little fucker. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. I'm going to teach you shit, but don't worry. I'm not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Come oh. see Uncle Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't like kids staring at me for no reason, and I can't communicate why. It infuriates me. Are you just upset that they catch you staring at them? No, no, no. I can feel their fucking energy. Their nervous, delinquent energy just staring at my <laughs> fucking... Ah, oh, kills me. And then I the feel parent, like The parents what? Sorry? The parents are... Uh, parents with bad kids, too, are the worst. Because it's not the kid's fault. It's always the parent's fault. But they just sit on their phone and the kid just doing oh, yeah. crazy shit. Oh, yeah. I see kids nowadays. I see kids nowadays and I'm like, I'm glad my dad was tough with me. I'm glad I'm not a piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad my dad brought all of the German memories he had with me. I'm so glad. Discipline me. Decide Grant, me. Grant, you're oh, hitting the note that Mark. this podcast can't handle right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I you said that. This is our first German. You're our first German on the podcast. I'm taking full advantage. Speaking of notes, how great is it when somebody's yelling in the mic while they're fiddling with everything, dude? That's doing that. Oh. You. I'm not fiddling with shit. <laughs> Dude, you, you look like you're about to hit the high note at the end of the song. Just like. <laughs> it's too <laughs> long. Uh, yeah, this stands too high. I should have just got a, one of these ones. Oh, well. What it's the that? apex. Yeah, I feel like I'm under equipment right now. Speaking of high notes, what's up with Adele these days? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so Adele lost some weight, and I don't know who found it yet, but yeah, lost a good amount of weight. She basically looks like a completely different person, right? Mm-hmm. Which, in the traditional sense, would be good news. Right? Okay. In today's world, Amelia, that's a great not thing. In today's world, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so I'm trying to understand it a little bit, but as far as I know, it's. She lost a bunch of weight, and there was like a picture, and there was some people saying, "Oh my God, she looks great! You, you look incredible. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Nope. Cool. Yeah, healthy, happy. Yeah, great. Yeah, it's and a good then thing. there's the other side of things. <laughs> there's, there's, <laughs> yeah. there's, there's, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. there's the blogger yeah. group, the, the get offended group, and everything. The, the victim, the victims, the victims. Come from the yeah, the victims the pull the, the, the victims, victims that, that pull out the card. They make like, it. The victims that had no association with the situation who made themselves part of the situation, and now they're a victim. Definitely one of the pettier examples of I love it. finding shit to be upset about. I mean, this I love you, it. You really got to dig deep for this one. Yeah, so there's a group of people who got offended at the people praising Adele for losing weight, saying, why weren't you praising her when she was fat? And now this third-party group of individuals are calling the ones praising her fat phobic. So they're fat phobic people because they don't love her when she was fat. Didn't everybody love Adele though? Everyone did love Adele. Uh, hello. Wasn't it the whole you're so brave shit? It was the brave thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 She was talented as shit, right? Like Lizzo, same thing. I'm, I'm big I'm cool. and bold and brave. It's but, just, it's just, a, it's just a cycle. It's a cycle because you can just, then, then there's a group, win. there's an anti- no, no, anti, you know, thin group that's be like, oh, to the people that said that she's beautiful when she's big. Well, now you're saying that that she was not beautiful. Now, what the hell are you saying about all the anorexic people in the world? It's like, it's just this fucking circle that goes around, and then it's just people saying, no, I'm important. No, I'm important because their lives are boring. Yes, yeah, so boring. Especially in this fucking quarantine. So boring. Get a hobby. Knit. You know. <laughs> <Get> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I don't know. That's more constructive. You can make yourself a sweater for the next winter. <laughs> 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 they cost shit on the internet. 
That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you can make a double XL sweater. So you can be nice and comfortable. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you saying, Mark? Even triple XL. Wow, well, these are the people that don't want people to be skinny, right? So I think these are other No, but I feel attacked now. How are you mad at somebody for <laughs> for her losing weight? It doesn't make any sense. It's just a health thing. And the shit no. that's crazy is if somebody else put the effort in to lose that weight, if, if one of these people did that, lost a bunch of weight, they they, they would want people to be happy for them. Would they they would expect it. Yeah, yeah. They'd be like, hey, look at me. Look They're how brave I am. Unhappy with their own situation. Because the, they can't nitpick. find it in themselves. It's nitpicking. Uh, I bet you it was a woman. I bet you it was a woman who started it. Just a fat, slobby, ungoal, no goal oriented woman. Who's just like, you know what? I'm not going to stand for this. And she's- or it's some fat, hairy fuck that's jacking off. you like, she won't be with me. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> she won't anyway. Yeah. <laughs> not if, if she looks like that. More not if she looks like <laughs> Guys are animals. They don't give a fuck about that. Yeah. The reality is she looks better. She looks healthier. She probably feels better. It's, I don't know how it's going to hey. affect her singing, but she might even sound better. Who the fuck knows? Oh, yeah. A lot of people are saying positives to her story and her career and shit, but it's just people are flying off the handle. I don't get, yeah, I don't get the, I don't get it. I love it. I love how offended and sensitive everyone is. It's my favorite time to be here, but I don't (laughs) get, I just don't get how you can approach it that way. And like, I don't know how you're going to win this argument. I'll play people fat phobic. I'll play. uh, It's impossible to win. I'll play blogger's advocate here for a second. Uh, I would get if it's like the picture showed her looking real thin and like unhealthily thin, then people are like, okay, something's wrong. Then yeah, then you can bad. make the point of, oh, she's trying to adhere to beauty standards and risking her health and this shit, but she looked like, I don't she want to She looked say, like a person. But she looked, she looked like a person. She looked healthy. She yeah. looked fine. Healthy. Yeah. She looked healthy. Yeah. 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 Regular as fuck. Yeah. yeah. So it's, and she's I got the know. money, money to invest that kind of time. She shouldn't have to adhere to beauty standards. She shouldn't have to do this. Like, no. But she wants to live till eighty and feel well. good until eighty. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and yeah. keep selling fucking platinum records or whatever the fuck. I guess you don't do that anymore. Selling yeah. streams. Selling streams. Yeah, streams. Play, huh? Is that the new drug? Oh, Charlie Stream. Um, I wonder yeah, if she'll make a song about it. How do you make a song about going skinny? Hello from the other side, part two. <laughs> I just lost a whole nother thigh. I don't know. <laughs> she can make, this is a whole new, the next album is going to be about her journey. Be about <laughs> Sorry. Going Sorry, vegan. So um, <laughs> I guess she could kind of spin it on. Like, She's going to uh, get a whole new album out of this. Turn their back on her when she thought she was doing a good thing. It's just like. You know, I got healthy and you guys all turned into vultures and are mad at me because, uh, you know, you could turn that into some kind of a song. I you know what it was? Because <laughs> Elle was a poster child, like a poster woman for other fatties. For the big gals, right? Right? Like, yeah. Like she was doing, she was ultra successful, following her passion, really good at it. Can't and they're like, <laughs> I can't say fatties. So like, I know. So, so like, your words are very insensitive. Now that she's <laughs> now that she's lost the weight, they can't relate to her anymore in a way for some reason. Even though it's just a bit of. Pound. But she didn't. She didn't start singing. I'm assuming to please the fat crowd. No, well, I know. I know. She wanted to fucking sing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and she just happened to be thicker, and now she lost a couple C's on the word thick, and exactly. it's fine. She didn't set out to be what she was made in to be. No. Like she wasn't chasing that. Here's, no, the shit that, here's the shit that's crazy. How much she's, different would it be if, like, uh, you remember the singer Sia, the chick that would like grow her hair out to cover her face, so you never saw her face? That's oh yeah. yeah, I think it's Sia, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Think of, think of like if Adele had put out a bunch of records and stuff, and nobody ever saw her face or her body and knew what she looked like. Yeah, and then she comes out with this, and this is the first time we saw her. How much fucking okay. different okay. it would be? Okay, quick question: Have yeah. you seen Sia without? Have you seen her eyes? No, I don't even. Oh know. yeah, dude, I'd grow my bangs out too. Okay. Why? <laughs> She's she not fucking dead eyes? Gollum. No, dude, you look at him. No, no going. she looks like fucking Gollum, bro. Like, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> like, like, no, her eyes are like big and round, like fucking, like, I'm, like you know those fucking <laughs> chimp, like those fucking small little monkeys? Uh, what are they fucking called? <laughs> it's just like, oh, like piercing. a piercing. Or like a loris. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah. What? She's yeah. got peepers. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with it, but if she wants, you know, she doesn't need to see the guy in the balcony. Yeah, then it's fine. And she has that ability, and that's okay. 
but I can see why she has <laughs> bangs. Are you? Whoa! Are you hair phobic right now? Like, what are you doing? What, am I hair phobic? You being hair phobic? I think he's being hair phobic. I'm a redhead. Hey. If anyone, he's I'm very hair phobic. Towards me, if anything. I'm gonna see you like a hair racist. You just don't like anybody that's not a redhead. Doesn't have. No, I'm only. I don't like people that uh, dye their hair. They're fake, and they wish they had were born with the fun color. Hey. Yes Mark, and no. Mark, I had dyed my hair blue once. You call me a fucking sucker? And, no, call but you poser? didn't know who <laughs> you were. You didn't know who you are, and you, for some reason you're like blue. will do it. Like, <laughs> yeah. <I don't> <laughs> I don't. I don't think everybody that dies a hair is insecure. I think sometimes they're just like, oh, I just want to try something different or whatever. I want something okay. to reflect my mood. I'm gonna pick yeah, blue. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you that, Mark. And obviously, you might that's want not some what frosty tips. You might want some <laughs> frosty tips. Or some haircuts don't lie. Like by the Dennis way, Dennis you're just doing some different shit. Yeah. Pick oh yeah. Tips. Oh, I've had people ask if I dye my hair on a regular basis. Why? And then I really, really, yeah, yeah. This and then I'm like, what? and then I'm like, you look at my eyebrows and you tell me what hair color you think I do have. Nah, nah. I don't know if I was gonna dye my hair. I mean, that's not the color I'd pick. I mean, obviously, a natural <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> obviously, like, natural blonde. Why would I choose to get shit on through life? Yeah. Why would you do that? <laughs> all three of us got a little ginger. Yeah, we all got. Some Once ginger. I grow this shit out, you see it. Oh, Actually, place, like it's just, so I was talking to a, full bore. I was talking to an Indian girl the other day, and uh, she she sent me a picture. I, so I think Indian girls think that everyone with red hair looks the same. That's that's the point of this. What I'm trying to say. Every everyone thinks it's just a bunch of how walking around. But a, I'm not even full <laughs> redhead. But she sends me a picture of some guy in like <laughs> some shitty show, like Downton Abbey or something, and she's like, "You look like this actor. He's really hot." And I look at the guy, and I look nothing like him. But it was just the bit of red I have in my beard. This full ginger guy. Dylan, I'm going to tell you this right now. And I'm, I'm just, I don't know what you're going to want to hear from it. Um, she was just being racist. She and, was. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, And it, that's, that's the one thing that it doesn't matter. And that's just what's going to happen with all cultures. If you're not from that culture, and you're not around that culture, you're not going to think everyone looks the same. Yeah, I was like, yeah, you look like Mindy. <laughs> K- I was like, you yeah. look like Mindy Kaling or whatever. The I was fuck told I looked like Louis Capaldi. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? She looks like that Mindy girl. <laughs> <laughs> did not look like Mindy. <laughs> From the Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kelly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my Kelly Capaldi. Deep Deep Chopra up in here. <laughs> there we go. I was trying to get her to deep. Deep throat choper, you know. We're, what I'm we're gonna have to show. We're gonna have to show the viewers the fucking the uh, whoever the guy was. I forget who it was. I remember you showed me when the chick sent it to you. I saying, showed you. Look like so and so. Yeah, I was at you. Oh yeah. Else. Oh yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Showing on the couch. I would have oh, said yeah. Freddie Freeman, but freaky you know. Freddie Freeman. I like Freddie Freeman. I'll take yeah, that. Freddie Freeman two point oh. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, you might have to do your Googles on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm a little he plays lost. For plays for the Braves. He's yeah. Braves. Yeah, sports. Pictures of celebs. Yeah. That's oh, my yeah. God. How much did the blue team score? <laughs> do you guys. Is that, is that why you dyed your hair blue, too? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, man. What's the face? You... Everyone was doing it. I'm Dude, a trend social center. Distance All the cool kids down. are doing it. I'm a trend yeah. center. Yeah. Yeah, all the cool kids are going orange hair and bl- fucking white eyebrows. You guys should but do when it. When I too. use that excuse, I'm the bad guy. Mm. Farley, apparently, chicks. There's a rumor going around. I don't know if I've told you this yet, but oh. apparently, apparently, chicks thinks think gingers are freaks in the sack, and it's a good thing. I know. And then there you go. Well, you, yeah, you, no, I. Know. <laughs> you're king shit. I, no, a, and it's probably not, a, yeah. the reason for the rumors. I, I know what <laughs> I like. I know what I do, and. Hey, easy there, Louie. You Dude. want this heat? <laughs> I'm not pulling my dick out and jacking off treatment? in front of people. <laughs> Dude, right. I got my own red carpet treatment. Thank you very much. Everyone has that. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> uh, no, it's more like strawberry blonde. But anyways. It, it, <laughs> thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. Vivid. But yeah, no, I know this. And uh, it depends, obviously. You know, I don't know. Yeah. What do you mean it depends? True. Well, obviously... There's different levels of redheadedness. 
Okay. There's the there's the people yeah. like uh, One, you know two three yeah we got three different levels right here <laughs> yeah yeah exactly there you go there you go so you are and they talking got, about the full gingers is that what you're saying yes uh, so I'm yeah. not I don't yeah. make the cut no, no you need you need you know you got to because the reason we're insane there is because we take so much shit everywhere else in our life that there's one way we can get <laughs> a lot of that anger out and that is by doing some oh. freaky shit in the sack and there's nothing wrong with that. It's an oh, you know what? This, this is long overdue. Just a sidebar since Farley, you're finally here. Dylan and I talked about this in an episode a little while ago about how sperm banks aren't taking redhead males anymore. Right? Redhead yep. male donations. Yep. You, want, you got an opinion on that? You, uh, it's smart. It's a smart thing. <laughs> we're not. We're not good. We're not good people. <laughs> we're not. We're not nice. I come from garbage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Garbage. yeah, yeah. A lot of the shit we take, it's deserved, and it's fine. <laughs> Look at he's, Trump. Trump's a redhead. Yeah, ish. He's a level. He's level. He's one and a half to two. I feel like I think he does a little stuff to it, but he was a redhead at one point, so he still has that mentality. If you think about it, if you look at Trump not as a president but as a redhead, and you look at his tweets now, does it make sense when he just blurts out whatever the fuck he's saying so through you, the eyes of a redhead? So you're no. saying, in your words, redheads are not intelligent people. That's what you're saying. No, that's no, that's not what I'm saying. That's I say exactly what I, I no, I said we're bad people. <laughs> no, we're smarter than most. We're just bad. We're bad. So yeah. there's no part of you that's bummed that you don't get to jerk off on the cup in a doctor's office. Um, <laughs> I could no. do that. They just don't. You're not even a little bit disappointed. No, Maybe it's because they're freaks. Dude, dude, I could go to the sperm bank and do that. They just don't put it in the fridge. They Maybe. throw it in the trash. <laughs> Maybe the <laughs> maybe the stereotype comes out. Maybe the, like. Maybe he's up for your salad. Maybe because he's such a freak in the sack, he'll like break the cups and shit, and just start fucking doing all kinds of crazy. Okay, I don't have a like I don't have a high psi ejaculate. I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, but I don't know what you'll do with the cups. Maybe do that exercise. Put it in your mouth a little bit before you put it on. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. I'm trying to trying to live. Yeah, I do that so that as I come, I say onomatopoeia. There we go. Feels nice. Great. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> 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 oh, <shit. laughs> but okay so look at it this way yeah that sucks but the amount of children that aren't going to get shit on because of their hair color that's not why no 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 I'm, I'm looking at the positives because of that a lot more kids aren't going through that shit you know um, there's a lot see this is really bad what I'm saying because you can say this about <laughs> any stereotype and it's terrible <laughs> Yeah. Just like, like, why don't you have black kids? Well, they get treated like shit. <laughs> like, yeah. That's not what I'm saying. But, you know, there's a lot worse people that uh, – there's a lot of people that get treated worse than redheads do. It's just are, more verbal than anything. Are there any redhead school shooters? <laughs> You'd think. No. No, because you're saying they take <laughs> a lot of shit. I'm just wondering if they – No, yeah, no. We become president and then we do it through, you know, politics. <laughs> but black people also <laughs> take a lot of shit and there's no <laughs> – there's no black school shooters. Yeah, uh, no, 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 because you're st- you're speaking. Okay, you're speaking on a very specific thing, though. You're specifically talking about schools and shootings. There we go. If a lot of the schools there that get go. shot up don't have, you know, <laughs> to be honest, metal detectors and there shit like go. that. Where the schools that have them, you know, there's certain people that go to that school, certain type cultures and whatnot, because that's the area they're in. I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just saying everyone's born with the lot they have. That's what's called life. And everyone has a choice they make. And if you're going to shoot up a school, you're an idiot. Where do we I go like from I here? Say, I don't know, but I feel like Where I Where do we go myself. from here? <laughs> you keep, <laughs> you're backpedaling. That's, I don't know what he's saying. I can't read that. I can't read I'm that. The fifth. I'm pleading the fifth. Oh, the fifth? No. no yeah, the fifth. fifth. <laughs> Can you guys not post that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're in it now, baby. You're in the vortex. You're in the, the, welcome you're to in the, the trenches, shit. dude. Welcome to the shit abyss. Welcome to the trenches. <laughs> welcome to the gas chambers, if you will. How's it okay. feel? There it is. Um, there it is. <laughs> full circle. <laughs> Have you guys ever like hung out with people <laughs> who oh god I show don't. you this is my biggest pet peeve when you're hanging out with someone <laughs> and they just you're at a party and you don't even know the person that well. And they just whip out a picture of like them and a celebrity. And then that's the whole conversation. 
Is that I, like it's happened to me like six times in my life. I've never had that issue. When I think if I did, I'd probably just get up and leave. It is the worst thing. Like, why are you showing me? A, B, I'm like, oh, cool. What'd you guys talk about? And they're like, nothing. He just took a picture. So, like, I don't know why you're gloating to me that you, you have a picture with Wayne Gretzky's head when I just don't get it. And what are you going to do with that picture? Is it just going sit to on, sit on the cloud? Mark, you know someone that does that. Uh, <laughs> name him. We got a name drop. All right, it's all right. I'm going to that shit out. Uh, He's um uh, he's in our class, you know, and he he likes to show pictures of. Is it the, the Oracle? Is it the Oracle? I don't know who the Oracle no, is. No, 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 oh, no, no. no. Stone Cold. <laughs> is it that was Stone Cold? Such- the amount of band members Stone Cold's fucking met, and he's just like he's a group. Look at this, and it's just like, oh, it's the guy from Red and Green. <laughs> the <laughs> Red and Green show. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like, like ah. Yeah, it's what? <laughs> like the only time it's warranted if like you have a sick story that goes with it and like you guys actually did something cool. But if you just ran up on fucking when does that John- ever happen? That's what I'm saying. Like if you just <laughs> if you just stalked Jonathan Taylor Thomas and then like took a picture with him, <laughs> like I'm not. That's fuck. Why are you showing me? Like who cares? Jonathan Taylor Thomas, <laughs> dude. I interrupted this guy for like five minutes. Look at the picture we took. That's great. He was probably <laughs> just like, yeah. Whatever. He's not going to remember that picture. He's not going to remember you. No. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. (laughs) Or you took like 47 snaps of like Justin Bieber running to his car. Like, I don't know. I just don't get the the clout. I don't get the hype. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it's it's because they don't bring anything else to the table. They don't have anything else to offer. So like, uh, uh, look it, look it. That's (laughs) because Yeah, no words. Just... And that's the problem with the world today, man. Everyone's bored. Oh, Everyone's yeah. bored. Oh, so we've never been more bored. spoiled with all the options of shit we have to watch or to do or whatever. Yeah, else. really. Yeah. How are you bored? Yeah. You're only bored because you're not doing what you want to be doing. Because our attention span has been cut so fucking short. Also, yeah. everyone's comparing. Think about how it. You supposed to, how, how a lot of people would want stuff, but they don't have it right now. And they got to see it takes work to get there. But when you go on Instagram and they see the guy that, you know, has it all. Think about how many people got like three minutes into this video and like, oh, no tits. Change the video. Like, it's true. <laughs> just being real. No, if you want tits, just ask. We need females on this show. Just for the, it's like, a girl can create a TikTok account today. Show her a little ass. Five million views. Five million views right away. I'm a savage. It's unreal. Yeah. Well, he's bouncing around here, right? Sassy, bougie, clat, or whatever the hell she's Hey, doing. look, to be <laughs> fair, if we had the same advantages, we would absolutely take advantage of You better believe I'd be doing every podcast mm-hmm. with a fucking tag top and my ass You better believe oh, yeah. it. Yeah. You better believe Some, it, Jack. Yeah, Just Amelia fucking. would hop on the streets. Fucking oh, man. chill out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not up. speaking anyone specific. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> But if you're going to talk about holding your tits out, you can't say that as Amelia. It's in the bottom corner. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like you guys would be way more, more – there'd be more gaming streams on your YouTube channel. Yeah, how are the girls – I've never oh, yeah, seen it. We a, talked about this with Brandon, about yeah. how many views I think I could get if I was just playing 2K with my dick hanging out. I could get at least 12. No, you at least could. 12. No, you could. 12K? I would give you – I give you a thousand bucks if you can get twelve viewers. Between eleven and thirteen. Twelve. If you can get twelve strangers to watch you game with your pog out, I'll give you a thousand bucks. I'll give you a thousand bucks. No, I want that whole check you got. I want that whole four grand. (laughs) Yeah. I want the whole kid and caboodle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He wants that whole. He wants that. He wants that serb. My dick is hanging out on the internet. It better be worth my goddamn while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been working. It's called serb. Getting serb checks. Bat stacks. <laughs> I, I do. I'm very confident I can get 12 views. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can. Mm-mm. Yes, I can. Not yeah, yeah. Chance. Yeah. And I'm just picturing it now. There's just like Fortnite <laughs> and then like Mark's dick in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This hey, look, is man. <laughs> I got a nice mic. I hit him with the silver baritone. Nice really mic. Hard. Next thing you know, my dick's out. This is exactly why my kid's never going on the internet. Yeah, yeah. 18. 
for and shit then Mark's like this. Not, yeah, yeah. See, that's smart. Dylan's Dylan's not going to introduce you to his kids until he's 18. <laughs> oh, Lucas is a gonna, fucking smart guy. <laughs> yeah, well, he's not going to bring out that no-pants cock friend who is 10-year-old. So, yeah, it <laughs> makes a lot of sense. <laughs> no, but think yeah. about all the shit you've seen on the internet that, like, you wish you just didn't see. Oh, how much it's worse is it going to get? By the time, by the time our babies are grown and know how to work a fucking computer? You kidding? <laughs> like, you I see worse. Every three days, I think of a beheading I saw. I think of two girls, one cup. I think of kids in the sandbox, which is some guy just thumbing his dick hole. Like, I... Oh, Mr. Hands. Every three days. Every three days, I think it is. Have is you just, seen Mr. Hands? The guy that died getting fucked to death by the horse. I've heard oh. of it. I didn't watch that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. That you know what? You don't even need to watch it. You can just listen to it. Just oh, oh. That's yeah, brutal. I just it's, stopped thinking about that like two years ago. This is what you I'm want, saying. It's you want to hear about forever. A, you want to hear yeah, a fucking okay. I will have the two girls one cup in my head <laughs> forever because I remember I remember where my I buddy, was. Oh yeah. I I will never forget this story. I was in the basement with my buddies, and my buddy's like, dude. There's this video going around, and I want to show it to you. And at the time, and at, at, me and my one buddy were like, yeah, let's, like, let's watch it, whatever. And at the time, my grandma had some family members upstairs. No and, way. And my one family, uh, the one older, came downstairs. Nice, Mark. <laughs> but downstairs in the I basement. I was muted, my bad. <laughs> no, no, dude. Dude, you were muted. You were absolutely muted, but I could see your face. Okay. <laughs> Uh, she came downstairs to use the bathroom. No and way. She she must have shit herself <laughs> or something. Ironic. So she, go, she she goes upstairs and when she goes upstairs, I'm like, okay, let's watch it. <laughs> I remember, I remember we started watching it and I was like, and I have a bad stomach. Like I will, I'm one of those. I will throw up. I will. If you keep pushing me, I'll be the guy that's gagging, spitting, vomit, just snot and drool. Just not good. And so I go, I start like gagging. So I'm like, I gotta go. I run to the bathroom to throw up. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck she ate, but it died in there. And, and I'm like, and, and then my buddies, I'm like, oh, it smells like shit. So my buddies run over to the door and hold me in. <laughs> oh my God. So, so I have this two girls, one cup in my head. And you can smelling, smell it now. I'm you can smell it now. Sh- smelling shit. All your senses. Open the door. Gagging in the sink, just like, oh, oh just like, let me out. <laughs> just, oh. All your senses are firing. Oh, dude. It's so I was, courtesy flesh at I was home, crying. Man. The visual, the hearing, because I remember the sound of like the pudding into the cup <laughs> and then just the smell. I was there. I was there. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh. I, uh, <laughs> when the Two Girls One Cup video came out, I was only forced to watch like the first five seconds of it. And then, uh, just force. Three. Yeah, what do you mean by force? Force to watch. Did you know all your brothers? <laughs> I don't mean like literally forced at gunpoint or strapped to a chair. I just mean somebody came up to like, look, you gotta see. It. Like, nah, I'm not watching. This Come on, you gotta see. You gotta see everybody seen it. It's like, fine, bitch. I'll, I'll fucking watch. It. So then they just show me, and next thing you know, it's you know shit slurpy Sunday, and I, I'm out. I'm cool on that. I already uh, saw the horse thing a couple years before that. Nah. I don't want my kids to ever see that shit. They're gonna be fucked. That's how you create school shooters, right there. You can't get no. Out that's of your not head. that. That's not how you do it. Okay. And also, if you wanted to be effective school shooter nowadays, screw screw guns. Bring a jar of peanut butter in. You can take out so many more kids. Peanut butter cookies, <laughs> dude. Peanut butter. You can't bring peanut butter into schools anymore. Well, we, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm well aware. Yeah. I'm well but aware. they don't. You know, no one's. And there's more security on jars of peanut butter going into the school than guns nowadays okay you sound like very right wing on this it's like I mean, left wing that's, that's it. Just left like wing. one person i know that has a nut allergy that i actually care about I'm so Republican. i've started to fucking behave a little bit but yeah With yeah I'm lucky man yeah because i was bringing pb and j sandwiches everywhere that's my that's my go-to well, yeah. If someone's allergic, I'm not going to be like, "But you Nazi!" Hit that, just rub peanut butter on their face. That's not what was, I'm here for. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were in class one. Day, we were in class one day, and uh, Richard's like, "Yeah, I'm super fucking allergic." I bust this shit out and sit next to him. I was like, "Oh my bad, dog. I actually give a shit about you." I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a peanut butter cookie from Tim's, dude. And we went to a Woodward's class, and I smelled the bag. I'm like, "Oh, that's delicious." I'm like, "Richard, smell." And he- <laughs> Yeah. And he smells it. He goes, "Is that peanut butter cookie?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, 
dude, I'm allergic. I'm like, oh, oh shit. Yes. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, dude, do you have an EpiPen? Like, he's like, no, 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 no. He's like, I'm good. Can't eat it. Just can't eat it. He's like, can't eat it. But he's and he's like, he can get sick from the smell because just the way his body is. Oh god. And you can't <laughs> like, like you can't like eat smell. peanut and then like shake his hand or something because that'll fuck him up too. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I told him to smell my bag, and there's smell my bag, baby. Yeah, it smelled like nuts. So, and I almost oh. killed him with it. Classic. <laughs> Classic Germany. Just doing what they do. We'll try anything once. Yeah. Sometimes twice. <laughs> That's my whole thing. Like, we got all these new policies and shit that we didn't have to worry about before. So, if somebody that applies to that I actually give a shit about, I'll, I'll follow suit. But other than that, you're not my fucking problem. Yep. I just how many so much, how, long, how long are people gonna wear masks for, you think? Is it even good to wear a mask? <laughs> no, not for peanut butter for this shit. Uh, no, I know, I know. Not for peanut who the fuck's wearing <laughs> masks for peanut butter? There's probably someone <laughs> That's how allergic you are. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Richard should. We keep Maybe fucking should, yeah. <laughs> we keep sitting next to you in class. Shit. <laughs> I'm not constantly eating <laughs> peanut butter cookies around this kid. Mm. <laughs> No, you're just sticking the fumes in his face. That's all. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I keep thinking about that though. Like, like how much is shit gonna actually change people's behavior when things go back to normal? Like, it's it's either gonna be people are gonna be way more paranoid and way more careful, or it's gonna go all the way the other way. It's like, oh, Corona's cured, we're all good, and everybody's just gonna be extra gross. Thinking their immune system I, is fucking it's not terrible okay. yet. Hey. I think that will happen if that's a vaccine, Mark. So yeah, no, but I, there's a yeah, vaccine. Yeah, but I'm saying there's already people that are like having these COVID fucking gatherings who are like going out of their way to have large gatherings with people who are infected, hoping to pick up the infection, thinking their immune system is going to kick in and they're going to be fucking immortal. Do you see they're doing that in prisons? The inmates are trying to get COVID so they get released early. So anyone that's showing <laughs> systems, they're meeting in huddles and they're spitting into a cup. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. <laughs> it's so fucking sick. <laughs> but yeah, everyone is getting early released because of well, this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I got to stay in here with COVID. I don't know why I got to stay in this jail. I'm innocent. I didn't do shit in the first place. I shouldn't have yeah. been in here these past 27 years. Now we got this shit to deal with. I should be out. Fucking all the yeah. Andy. drank Andy. another man's spit out of a cup. Yeah, release me. All the Andy. <laughs> I'm a change the- man. <laughs> all the Andy Dufresne's of the world just trying to suck dick to get early release. <laughs> yeah, I'll suck your dick. They're all doing the mouth exercise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want that early release. <laughs> On the monopia. <laughs> Today on Inside Niagara, uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's if the school turns into a prison. <laughs> oh, sidebar. Speaking of Inside Niagara, Farley, you had probably top three funniest moments in fucking Inside Niagara. It was you, right? <laughs> so, uh, so Jay, what do you? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's, start story. Off, let's hear let's start off the story with the fact that we were told we had a full show. We had we did all the rehearsals and every single rehearsal, how is our timing? Oh, we're good. Like we're 20 seconds off, da da da, but they can fill it with credits, whatever. They got filler. <laughs> so <laughs> we're doing that and um I look at the floor director. It's the last. It's the last. I think little ENG. Oh yeah, it's the it's the Well and Humane Society little animals thing. I hated that one, by the way. Go ahead. Oh you yeah. Hated that it, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. It's the fluff. Yeah, it's the, it's, yeah, yeah. It's just the, the real stu- It's just it's like, like oh, it's, it's the little. It's, this is cute garbage. It's just yeah, the little aw yeah. kicker. It's just that yeah. little makes everyone feel good, you know. Yeah. And uh, and then the floor director goes back. Okay, you got thirty seconds, and you have to fill four minutes. And I look at him and go, huh? And he goes, you have to stretch it for four minutes. And yeah. I'm just like, I'm like, I can see my sign out on the teleprompter. <laughs> like, we got 10, 15 seconds. So I'm just like, I look at Jade, <laughs> my, my co-host, and I'm just like, let's talk about what we're going to do next week being March break. Like, what do you plan on doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. You threw it. I think I remember this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you threw this layup and she just blocked it. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I, okay, well I, but I warned her. I warned her, though. I'm just like, I'm like, and I don't care. I'm like, just make it up. I'm like, make it up. 
say whatever you want. Just, I don't care if it's real or not. Just say something. And she's like, okay, okay. So I'm like, all right. And then, you know, boop, right? You know, thank you again. This is our show next week, da, da, da. And being next week's March break, Jay, what are your plans for next week? I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> and was I, she all confident too before? She's like, no, oh, I got something. No, she, oh, I got you. Don't worry. I got something sick. We can talk about it for minutes. I love Jade, but <laughs> I got you. When the can when there's Sleep. certain people when the camera turns on, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, yeah, and you know, listen, <laughs> <laughs> dude. If you had a beard, I would have st- called you Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> Liam? <laughs> just so what'd you say after she said sleep? <laughs> well, honestly, after watching it again, I didn't think I paused for that long. <laughs> but I, I, I stared at her for like two seconds. I was like, that's it. Uh, well, I plan on, I'm going to be working. I'm going to make sure I sleep in, you know, right? I'm going to continue writing, maybe play the piano. And I'm just like, da, da, da. And I look at her and I'm like, yeah. Well, that's her show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! This was a uh, this was the same chick that like read a line. This and like stumbled with. Oh, on the, the news! Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have to edit her name out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll figure it out. She'll figure it out. Be, That's amazing. Everyone, everyone will know that knows. <laughs> but oh, yeah, and I don't. New. I like, uh, and I, uh, I don't like. I'm not mad or anything, and it's fucking hilarious. I was pissed at the time. <laughs> but also it wasn't her fault like we had a planned show yeah yeah four minutes just improv so fuck, it was uh something happened with the end to end with den uh that segment that for that week oh yeah they scrapped whoever, it like last minute didn't who, well uh whoever was editing it didn't finish it terrible so they had to and then they found that out five minutes before we went live at five and then fill four minutes. Wait, how do they not know that during the first rehearsals? You because they just assumed like, they just, just get it done. they just assumed it was gonna be done. They didn't yeah. actually have it. And that's where I believe Otto fucked up <laughs> just a little bit. And um <laughs> but that's just my opinion. But uh, yeah, 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 I'm gonna sleep. When, when the cameras all right, you, uh, that's you all freak right. out. That's great. Did you, did you freak out when the camera turned off? Like sleep, oh, I, sleep. I put, my, I put my head down and I was just like, Farley, that was literally the perfect time to do your fucking your I dance know, stuff. I thought, your of it, Mark. I thought of it. I thought of it. <laughs> so now you would have so, canceled for that. Oh man. Oh, Tom would have ripped me apart, but I would have been like, just oh yeah, oh yeah, just <laughs> hello, my baby. baby. Hello, <laughs> hello, my ragtime girl. <laughs> just start dancing. Oh yeah, because ta- our teacher. <laughs> Dylan would, would always, it's like if you got to make sure you're prepared for if the teleprompter goes off. And so I look at Mark and be like, and just start dancing, right? Like, just, <laughs> just, just, just like, hey. Oh, and uh, and yeah, that too, came man? across my mind after the fact. But if I would have thought that on air, I would have started laughing. I know I would have. And that would have been bad. That would have been bad. Just start losing my shit live on television. Like, that went to live and everyone saw me just stare at I. Watching it back, like, I don't know. If, I want to try to find it because I remember, like, you can see my eyes widen. Like, get some sleep. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> just like, hey, all right. <laughs> Let's keep the show just, going. <laughs> Michael Baxter and I were talking before uh, before I was up as weather and shit. And uh, it would have been so perfect because I was throwing the news. And you've seen usual suspects, right, where they're in the lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I had the idea where if I just ran out of shit or whatever and just decided, fuck this class, I would just go up and just throw the news and be like, all right, well, that's your weather update. Give me the fucking news, you fucking <laughs> sucker motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Camera's cut. Go right to the <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine Stone Cold sitting there frozen. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you. Why? Was he the next guy? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, he got no, no, no. yeah. Was, oh, was, uh, Stone Cold no, just sitting James there like this. <laughs> yeah, James, James was like, yeah. that would have been great. Dude, do yeah. you know what? I t- like, I w- one of the advice I told Jane was kind of like just to like, I'm like, slow down your read. And I said the same thing to Steve Johnson. 
because I feel like he reads way ahead of where his mind and where his words are. And I feel like everybody that's wants why to get it over with. Yeah. Exactly. I'm, I'm just like, take each word and just talk. Enunciate. On a <laughs> And, <laughs> and uh, just freaking. I, and then I, then, you know, puts her head down like that. Cause she, she was beating herself up, which yeah. that's what you do. I think that, and it was because we were taught when we were doing news is to like on the camera cut, we'll really quickly look down at your script and then go up. But there was no, it was no camera cut. So that, Mark, 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 just, that's not what that was. That's not what that was. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, no, that, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was the look. Of, <laughs> that was defeat. That was absolute <laughs> defeat. That was game seven. I just lost everything. I know, I know what you're saying, Mark, but that's not what that was. That was despair. <laughs> oh shit! Who was sitting next to her that pulled it off like a pro? Though I was it Rob? Sitting... Was it Robbie Rob. Bobby? Liam Raymond? Oh Liam Raymond. Oh, that's right. No, it was. It was Rob. Rob was with her on the news that week, but yeah. Raymond was the one whose teleprompter went out and oh. just, and just oh, wow, yeah. and just kept <laughs> What's going. What's hilarious just, was that like, you could, first, first you week. Could, Oh yeah, but you can see when the teleprompter goes off because you can see his smile. You can see his like nose, and then he like smiles like yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, well, my uh, that sh- the show was so fucked up though. Our show because my uh, like the cannabis story I did that was a live voiceover. Oh, I was really? supposed to have that was supposed to be yeah no I was supposed to, I had the whole ENG package I did the voiceover I recorded on my phone in my closet. <laughs> like you know the voiceover for i did the whole ng package and tom kept changing the story and he's like do you know what we're just gonna play the visuals and then you're gonna just we're gonna time it and you're gonna just read it live and i was like okay so i had to fucking get that like the show it was <laughs> it did, your, did your grandma walk by the closet and think you were doing like a drug deal in the closet like talking about cannabis why do you think my grandma's just walking in my room oh i didn't know it was in your room just a loving grandmother. It's, her house. Said, it's my closet. Well, I don't know. She's checking on you. Dude, you're just in the closet. Just she might have just been doing a cannabis sales are plummeting. That would have been funny. No. I can picture that. I keep asking her to smoke with me, but she keeps saying no. Well, I mean, you religious? Not, are you exactly religious? It's the time to be sharing a fucking joint. I love how there's two different points of views on this question. Mark's like, <laughs> yeah, share a joint, Dylan. What about God? <laughs> <laughs> that's that, and that's the battle. That. But what about yeah. God? But she has God? in her head. But what about yeah. God? Okay, well, if God, God created the Garden of Eden, and then there would have been pot in the garden. So. Uh, nah. No, is that why she doesn't want to smoke? <laughs> like, why doesn't she want to smoke? No, because she feels like you know she 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 wants control. Oh, okay. she, she feels like she's gonna, you know, smoke pot, and I'm gonna be like, "All right, let's go rob a place, Grandma." Oh no, no, no. <laughs> that's exactly how it goes. Yeah, it. every time. No, yeah, no. She's just afraid, and I'm just like, "Don't be, Grandma. Join the cult." And uh, <laughs> but I'm just bored, Drink and it's punch, Grandma, and it's just fun. It's, it's just because she's 82, and she grew up in a time, you know, she she grew up in war, came to Canada, yeah. started had nothing and then you know in the words of dylan <laughs> the empire or <laughs> enterprise sorry yeah and so she's done some shit and you know she lives she has her standard and she's german so just me asking her to smoke pot is just hilarious because every time she's like no i don't no i don't want to i don't I mean, it's just yeah <laughs> yeah and she's so stern and i'm just like i she knows hmm. like, at this point she must know i'm joking i know she's not going to you need to relax like, grandma you need to yeah. relax you know what's good yeah. for that <laughs> <Little hit>. Hey! <laughs> have you have you asked her about like her life like in detail yeah I'm always, i always ask old people stuff like that it's yeah, yeah you'll be well, shocked she's my grandparents I'd, I'd like to know yeah yeah because some like, people don't my, though no i know well it's my family's so weird my, jesus christ my family's weird because i don't know my grandpa on my mom's side he's from he's I found this out a couple of years ago, but he's from Boston, so there is Irish American in me a little bit. Uh, and and, but her her parents and uh, her mom is Native Canadian from the Iroquois tribe, from what I'm told, here in southern Ontario. So this is where she that she and I, that's as much as I know from that side. And she's only had one kid, my mom, and that's it. As far as you know. Go ahead. Well. 
there's another one, but no, there's only one kid right now, and that's my mom. So that's that's all uh. the extended family I have on my mom's side. It's just my mom, no extended family. Grandma, that's it. Dad's side, most of them are in Germany still. My grandparents, and they both came over uh, from Germany after the war. Grandma and grandpa separately, and they met in uh, they met in Winnipeg. Hmm. I, I, my my grandpa was a cab driver. Jesus Christ. Oh, Kobe's fucking wild. <laughs> what the hell happened to Brandon? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to the guy stranger in your house? <laughs> yeah, he, stranger, but... he totally just left. He's just like, all right. Because <laughs> we just started. I was like, ah, how am I going to do it? Go ahead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, ahead, he came, they came over. Carpenter, cab driver. And then uh, he started working for this company that sold... Uh, a lot of the raw ingredients to Tim Hortons and Ron Joyce when they first started it. And then they offered him uh, the warehouse manager job mm. and he was Tim Hortons first warehouse manager. And then a couple years later, he asked for a store, picked Fort Erie and worked his way up, worked his way up from there, met my grandma, so but that was before to... Timmy's and whatnot. But yeah, they just German, their German worked, <laughs> worked their German asses off. Sorry to, uh, you know, yeah, to, to get where we are today, and now I'm just that white privileged redhead that walks around town. Everyone's like, "I was fucking boss's son, prick." <laughs> <laughs> Told me he was proud of me once. Fucking yeah, prick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's as much as you laugh, Mark, but it's <laughs> it is one of those things where my dad's like, "Dude, I'm proud of you." Like, ah, not. <laughs> that really ugly cry, like ah, ah, ah. No, it's a great. <laughs> it's a great story. It sounds like they uh, just took what they want and eliminated everyone in their path till they got it. It's Can you story. stop making this super <laughs> German? You fuck. They didn't like kick anyone out of okay. the way. Okay, that's how you get your dreams. It's okay. They did what they had to do. Yeah, it's how you get your comp. Yeah. <laughs> Their comp. <laughs> yeah, you drink your water, Gwyn. You fucking drink your water, and I hope you choke on it. Be the fifth on that one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Don't spit all over the mic, man. I'll do it. Sorry, sorry, I didn't see you there. But if you wrap your mouth around the mic, I'm pretty sure you can say automatopoeia after. Automatopoeia. <laughs> automatopoeia. <laughs> do you have a small mouth, Gwyn? Threaten me with a good sound. Yeah, I had a small mouth. Pause. <laughs> hey. Yeah, <that's> Pause. <laughs> Did you just say don't face. threaten me with a good time? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know a good time when I see one. Yeah, I got a small ass mouth and too many fucking teeth. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, had dude, eight, I had eight teeth removed. Eight. What? Does that count your wisdom teeth or no? Yeah, four of them are wisdom. Four of them are normal. 16, bro. You did not get 16 removed. Okay, don't believe me. Let me see your mouth. We see your mouth. You definitely have more than you you're fucking... an idiot. You're lying. No, I'm not. Do you know why? You're lying. You know how... There's know... no way you no, had you... double what I had removed. There's no yeah, way in hell. That that includes my wisdom teeth. Yes. There's no way. Yeah. Do you know how so it's you, called? You you, you have like six six teeth left. It's called not hitting puberty till you're 20, Dylan. What is when that? Your mu- when your teeth. Start oh, so you had baby your... ones removed. That doesn't count. Why does that not count? Are they not real teeth? No, adult teeth. I'm sure you're who talking has strictly a, adult. Who <laughs> has adult teeth removed on a daily this basis? This guy's eight. Eight. You had, you had eight adult teeth removed. Of four of them were wisdom, and then four oh. of them were, yeah, eight. Wait, what? Break your teeth, motherfucker. What's wrong with you? They're not rotten. They're too big. My mouth was too small for them because they're big British fucking gangly teeth. No wonder that girl thought you were on that show. <laughs> what show? Down at Abbey. It's a... British yeah. show, you dumb fuck. I don't even think it was Down Abbey. <laughs> you said it was. Uh, you it was, said it was. It was, like, it was one of those like faggy vampire shows or something. <laughs> oh, I can see Dylan being a faggy werewolf. <laughs> it was it? It was like some. It was like old and time. Not a show, Jacob. Oh, is it? Was it the vampire episode of oh. The Catch a Predator? No. <laughs> Although that's in my top five. No, it was, a, it was he was on the vampire show called Slowly Turning Gay. That's what it was. Sure. Yeah. Because <laughs> that why you... by a radioactive. Oh, oh, and so he's trying to hide a it. Flamboyant so he... vampire. So, 
Yeah, so he had his so he had his teeth removed. Yeah, yeah, I bet. With blue hair. All the vampires in No, but, but for this one here, I remember he didn't freeze the right tooth. And I didn't get put out because my parents were too poor. So he just got on top of me. You put out. And I could see the whole thing. And I felt the whole thing because he didn't freeze the right one. And it was it was probably the worst pain I've ever had. Dylan, do you know what, bro? It was bad. <laughs> that's a better that's a better reason than the one I had. I remember my 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 dad had the option of uh no. doing that. What was putting me under to pull it out. My dad's like, no, he could take it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so he, he's it like, it sucks. Because because there's that one spot in your mouth, there's like very it's like the least amount of nerves. And I know I think I know which tooth you're talking about, where when you try to freeze it, it sometimes doesn't get there. Yeah, so didn't. they could like stab it like three, four times and try to numb it and it won't work. Yeah. So the, and the guy couldn't get it out because my mouth was so fucking small that I had to take 16 teeth out that the motherfucker got a monkey wrench. Put his fucking foot next to my head. Yeah, the head. Held, yeah. The nurse held my neck and he's just like, Ta-da! just. <laughs> just it hurt in. so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. It hurt. The whole block could hear me scream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it fucking hurt. Yeah, I remember his foot behind, beside the head. It's funny you said that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, because fucking yeah, size dude. 12 right here. There's a size yeah. 12 <laughs> just right by your ear. <laughs> dude, do you know what? Dockers. There, do you know what? I feel like some, there, there are some dentists that are just high functioning psychopaths that just learn to take out their <laughs> out with the teeth. And I'm pretty sure they keep them and probably go home and wear a fucking necklace with all the fucking bloody teeth. Like <laughs> I remember the, <laughs> I remember the screams. Mm. This, <laughs> like <it's>, this, <laughs> this fucking guy lost his license like a year later. <laughs> 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 I swear to God. <laughs> Is that why you remembered how big his feet was? Because he showed you his <laughs> dick, too? <laughs> Catch a tea bag or two while he was... Yeah, yeah. I had to sign an NDA. I'm not allowed to talk about why he lost it. <laughs> there you go. Yes. De- nice. Dentists have the highest suicide rate. <laughs> yeah, NDA. <laughs> not, not dentists, actually. Not dentists, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was all a ruse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one Dude, why'd you, why'd, you, why'd you pull teeth out? <laughs> They all saw my dick. <laughs> yeah, I've had, I think I've only had one tooth actually pulled out by the dentist and they did it properly. So I don't really have a horror story. Okay, that's nice for you. It wasn't oh. traumatic. How was your uh, wisdom story? What a great story. Took it out. Bada bing. Almost, you didn't even almost need to tell us that story. It was so good. I just wanted to know how much better I'm doing than you in life. This is bullshit. <laughs> fucking bullshit wait how does wait so you've had one tooth removed and that gives you a higher social class than i've lost no yep. i've lost like i lost all the baby teeth and whatever and i've lost yeah because that's normal I, before, to be honest, I Mark, going to the dentist and getting one pulled out i only remember uh, one. no the reason i've had to had so many pulled out dylan is because if they didn't then my big my actual teeth wouldn't grow in properly yeah and i get it after when they finally I did it. i had to i had to get dented i had to get braces, braces. Yeah. Because my teeth looked like a fucking graveyard after an earthquake. Did you actually get bad. braces? You got braces? <laughs> yeah. Me yeah. Too. Almost four years. I yeah. got them off the day before I graduated grade eight. Ah, I had mine in grade yeah. eight. I had speed braces, though, they were called. Year and a half. I got speed fucking braces. springs. The dentist's like, there's this, do you know, remember the elastics? Yeah, they fucking hurt. Well, the, yeah, well, the doctor's like, well, there's this new procedure where we put permanent springs. So I had these fucking springs, like legit, like springs, and it would because it was so much metal. Keep saying so springs. much, so much moisture going to the spring. <laughs> that there would be so much spit in my mouth, and it'd just be like every <laughs> every five seconds, it'd be like. <laughs> you were you were like you were like a re- you were like yeah, a real life Gretchen off of like Disney's yeah, Reheaters. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dude, God. I'd be eating, I'd be eating dinner, and then you'd just be like. <laughs> I would just, no, it wouldn't be that bad. I wouldn't let it get that bad unless I wanted it to. But if I if I purposely didn't and I just let all the moisture get to the springs, I'd look at you and you look like I'd be like rabies. Like it'd just be like drool. Just like ah. I don't know. Judging by the way you slept last night, I don't think it was the springs that was the problem. Why your mouth was so moist? Well, actually, I got this. Uh, they fixed. Fuck you. <laughs> They fixed my uh, they fixed my uh, overbite with the springs, but then I hit puberty after the fact, which then my jaw grew. Uh, no, the rest of my face grew into my jaw, so now I have a fucking massive underbite. 
which I got to go get that fixed. Yeah, it's a dirty, dirty on rights. Yeah, I'm grinding my teeth when I sleep. Fuck How do you this know? Shit. I, because the dentist know? says I'm grinding my teeth. Look how fucking straight. Yeah, he says that because he wants to see you more because he's a psychopath. Well, first of all, first of all, my dentist is a woman, you sexist prick. Is she hot? Is, that- <laughs> <laughs> is she hot? Is Mindy hot? <laughs> uh, tight. Mindy, Mindy always like, looks like 12 months pregnant now. What's going on with that? It's been like six years that she's been pregnant. Adele lost the weight and she found it. No, she doesn't look like to me. She doesn't look like normally fat. She just looks constantly pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fucking know. I haven't seen this. If, 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 if Mindy was to see Adele, her fat would be like hello from the other side. You know, it's God. <laughs> before and after. It's a good uh, what? What? Weight training or skin treatment? <laughs> Adele's white, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's what makes it. Half and the then, fucking and then what's the, and, and then now be careful what's before and what's after because what you choose a lot of people will be really upset. <laughs> well, Adele's obviously after because. So you're saying the, being, being white, white privilege. <laughs> so you're saying being <laughs> different skin and bigger is before and losing weight and white is after. Alrighty. <laughs> well, I mean, you do like the you do like the Sammy Sosa shit. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. That's a valid point. It's not a good one, but it's a valid point. I don't see. That's the one thing that's always blowing my mind when it comes to that. Like, because Michael Jackson, like, I, I always was weird because I always thought he just dyed his skin and bleached his skin, but he actually had a skin condition, and that's and his pigments was just losing its color. Yeah. So he figured, fuck it, I'm gonna just beat beat it to it. And and the other thing, for some reason, the parents of these little kids felt more comfortable would, to leave him babysitting if he was a white guy. No, 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 no. Think about it, though. Think about it. I would rather leave a not a white man with my kid. I would, too, but they're racist. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. the thing. It was yeah, racist you, rich kids. What, yeah. what is the argument here? Nothing. Dude, think on. about it. Think about it. Would you rather – like, what's more likely – that I'm a, a black person's gonna touch your kid or a white person's gonna a touch white your person, kid. 100%. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's white person, 100%. That's what I'm yeah. saying, yeah. And that's, if you guys remember the one night we were talking about this, my, I was talking about how stereotypes, like, they're different for white people now and the stock has gone down a for lot. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Like, to be honest, like, no offense, but, and white I don't mean suck. any offense. Yeah, we do suck. And do you know what? I'm born in the, and we're all millennials, technically. But we're on the one side where we don't give a fuck, and we're we're actually rational thinkers. So, and you, anyone can say whatever to you two, and you guys be like, "All right, sure, I don't give a shit who you are. You're not gonna affect me." Yeah. And then there's other people that are highly sensitive. So when I say that this, phobics. Well, yeah. this is what I'm saying is that I'd rather think someone's gonna think that I'm gonna rob them than them to assume I'm gonna molest their child. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't think you can assume anyone's going to molest your child unless they have a mustache yeah, only. Yeah, but that's the point of stereotypes. Blonde <laughs> mustache. Blonde mustache. Is, <laughs> is, you know. Why do you think, not, I, sh- why do you think I shave, bro? Here, here, the telltale signs. If you have glasses that are too big for your face, a mustache, and then and you wear <laughs> jeans without a belt, those are the three number one things that you're going to molest a kid. You've met Chris Hansen before. You have. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And his buddy's walking around with a dog leash, but never a dog. You're fucked. <laughs> he, yeah, he's got Walkman headphones and no Walkman. Have you seen pickles he's got tucked under his shirt? <laughs> What's oh, What's that G? Sorry, okay. he didn't want to. He didn't want us to hear him speaking German. <laughs> yeah, we're starting the Fourth Reich in Canada. Yep. Once everyone gets in the car, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go to the Guten Tag factory. <laughs> Did she ask Every- you if you want some sausages from a Polish farm that you guys took over in 86? Uh. <laughs> Actually, if you want to know a cool fact, is that a lot of cool the fact, when, a cool um, fact. Um, when the war was over, a lot of the Polish families went to uh, a lot of the farms that they were kicked out of, and they murdered the German families. Uh, luckily, my great grandfather was a smart fucker, Got and the obviously, hell out of there. well, no, that's not good, dude. They, a lot of the German families were forced to work the farm without their choice, and if they say no, they get shot too. Well, you gotta realize the, that. That's the, they made the decision. 
Yeah, no, I know. But my but grandpa, it's, it's, my grandpa, instead of kicking out the Polish farmer, he actually hired him to help oh. him work it. So that when all this happened, okay. yes. my grandpa just handed him the keys and goes, there you go. And then they let him off. And that's why I'm fucking here today. That's exactly why you're here. Nice. Smart motherfucker. Yeah. But yeah, to all those other families that died, you know, in the words of Grant, uh, you deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not here to hear it, obviously, are they? <laughs> nope. But there's someone on the internet that will have to speak for them. Is it you? Are you no, the ambassador? I don't give a, no, I don't give ambassador? a fuck. I'm, a, I'm alive. Shit. I'm alive. I wonder if, uh, speaking of kids, our kids. Here, are back we, go. Shit. Here we go. Careful. I wonder if our kids are going to have to like take up for our shit that we're doing now. What, like, like, so- like you know how di- people are digging up old tweets and shit? Like, as soon as yeah. somebody is doing well, they're like, oh, he said something racist when he was 15 or something. Like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Different now. Yeah. Like, no, you're still a piece of shit. But the thing I is. I wonder if they'll do that with our shit. Like, they'll go back and dig up all our videos and then our kids trying to live somewhat respectable life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I feel like, I feel like the stuff we say isn't so much racist, but, like, when it, when it comes across, as much as it be, it be jokes, it's somewhat true. Nah, but I say cunt and faggot a lot and. You know, wow. So, dude, faggot never meant gay to me when I grew up. Faggot it never was another meant, word okay. for it yeah, was yeah. another word for idiot or stupid. I right, fucking faggot. Like, yeah, yeah. Get away no, from me. None <laughs> of us, none of us have ever used faggot in the de- in the like <laughs> dictionary te- like definition. None of us have ever used it. No. Like, no. Like, why would you go up to a gay? I had to have this conversation. Why would you There'll go? Be over- a lot less people upset over the word faggot. If you know. go over to a homosexual and call him a faggot, that's just like calling like a, a wall a wall. Like it's just redundant. There's no point to it. Yes, but you're living in the time, Dylan, where the truth matters to a point where it can't be discussed. You can't call people black if they're black because that's racist. It's but it's okay. but, it, but, you, but it is. My it's my dad's fault. I say fact. Oh yeah, it's it's the boomer, oh yeah, bro. it's a reactionary word. Like when yeah. we were a kid, everyone's been yeah. called it. Hey, what's up, fact? Yeah, it's a fact. Yeah, it's a fact. That's a yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. That it's, was like our yeah. action. Yeah, it was it, like t- that was his version it, of hugging me. <laughs> My dad just said, get in the car, some man head, or go to work. I I, I caught myself, I think I've said this before, but I I got my jacket caught in my car door once, like last week or a couple weeks ago. And I said, oh, you fucking faggot jacket. But there's nothing gay about it. Like, there's nothing gay about the the situation. But it's just fucking reactionary word. Jackets I mean, that are pretty gay. Some, yeah. That guys are not gay. <laughs> yeah, I'm with, I'm with Amelia. You got it. <laughs> also, Mark, why do you mute yourself when you drink water? How yeah, loud what are you doing? Because do I don't want up? it to be like an ASMR thing where you guys hear me swallowing in the mic. Pause. Well, you're you stop going so close to the mic. First of all, pause. Yeah. And then you'll be all right. Pause. <laughs> I'm just trying to be considerate of y'all, man. I, I don't give a fuck if I hear it. It's just well, the last thing people want to hear. Is I don't give a shit if I, I don't give a shit if I hear myself drink. That's a way yeah. of thinking, Mark. I mean, that's all this podcast <laughs> is a bunch of gulping and selfish, burping. selfish, bunch of gulping and burping. What is a movie that is a serious movie that you look at as funny or oh, humorous? Yes. Oh, come on now. What right. do you guys want to go first? You can go first. I got a few of them in mind. Okay. The two that immediately come to mind are The Exorcist and Forrest Gump. Why The Exorcist? The Exorcist because when <laughs> when the bitch is crab walking down yeah. the stairs yeah, back, yeah, yeah. it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. And I'm like, I get that at the time when the movie came out, special effects weren't anywhere near what they are now, whatever else. And, it was a real know, it, it was terrifying. But yeah. When some zombie kid is screaming, your mother sucks cocks in hell, that's funny to me. That's Someone funny says that? Me. I've never seen the movie. Someone says that? Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. And there's that's a funny. bunch of shit. And then it's a bar. Like, I haven't seen the movie either, but I've seen that clip. That's a oh, bar. yeah. You got to watch it. You got to watch yeah. it. You definitely got to watch it. My only one that I like is uh, Titanic. That's just. I never saw Titanic. Oh, dude. It is, just a, it is just such a corny. Of course, it's corny. it's just a, it's no, but like it's it's to a point where a lot of the shit that happens, like there's a point where the boat breaks, oh, yeah. buddy in a suit falls, hits a fucking pipe, goes. I remember bong, that. I remember and then that. Falls and hits into a, like a bunch of electrical shit, and then it goes. <laughs> 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 and Mark hasn't even seen it, but me explaining there's it to him. Like <laughs> when somebody yeah. rocks their shit yeah, off a yeah. pole, and you just yeah. Like, 
Boom. Yeah, and you can hear it in the thing because he because he hits one of the big pipes, right? So it's hollow. So it's just like they hit the sound. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good sound design. Yeah, like it's boring up until a point where then they're just like iceberg ahead, and they're like, "Who the fuck doesn't see an iceberg in the honestly, ocean?" Honestly, that was before the iceberg. No, that was after. No, no, the no, 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 no. Everything up until the iceberg is pretty like just very stupid, brutal. Rock. Hell of a Disney cruise. Like, it's, it's a weird. shitty love story. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, oh boy, there's an iceberg in it. Daffy Duck shooting people. No more room on the boats. <laughs> but yeah, and then and then there's that scene where they're 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 fucking in the car in the storage. Don't remember that. It's just, oh, uh, is it sexy? Like, I don't yes, remember that scene. It's like three there's a three-hour They're like, you don't see it, but they're like, make it out and shit. And then uh, there's a part where they put, like, you see her hand, hand the, the hand. steamy glass, and it goes down. And you're just like, <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah, she'd yeah. be pipe down or she'd be murdered. <laughs> well, <least> everyone, di- <laughs> everyone died pretty much in that one. No, except for Rose, because she didn't move the fuck over on that giant fucking door oh she was God. on. Oh, my God. The weight. The weight of two people. What she weighs that not worked. They're both 120 pounds, literally yes. soaking wet. Is she Adele they were. before or Adele now? He's Adele now, skinnier than that. Her Adele name now and young Leo. They could have. They could have stayed. They could have, no, dude. No, and this no, wasn't no. a door. This was a Titanic door. This is a gargantuan door. This door is bigger than my fucking wall. Yeah, yeah, it's Bart. huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. No bullshit. No, um, you're bullshit. Also, no, no, no. He was also in the water a lot longer. And, uh, I'm aware sorry. of that. Why was yeah, he in the, then, Why was he there so long? Because she was on the door. Yeah, but did you remember the part where they weren't together and then he had to swim to her to get to her? Yeah, yeah, it's cold water and stuff. Yeah, I'm aware. And then he, but it's really funny because I like I like I remember the part and I remember specifically because the first time I watched this movie, we were driving up north, and me, my sister, and my aunt were they wanted to watch it. Those two and I, you know, being the youngest, I didn't have a choice. And when you see Jack sink, when he dies, and they're like, they, I started laughing my ass off <laughs> in the car. And just like, let him never let go. <laughs> and then he just fucking just, Let's go. just sinks. And it's just like, the fuck am I watching? And I'm like 12 at this point. I'm watching the greatest Nitro Circus thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Nitro Circus. <laughs> Crashed into a fucking glacier. For, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump has got to be the other one. Forrest Gump's an amazing movie, for the record. Like watching it all the way through, it's a really good fucking movie. But there are some scenes, like yeah. just when he talks, Bob said they spot magic shows. It's funny shit. I I I, I, I did something. Did something <laughs> I did something stupid. I didn't watch Forrest Gump until I, <laughs> but I watched Forrest Gump. I see. I saw it after I watched Tropic Thunder. <laughs> Nice. And so what oh, I was restart. watching, what yeah, I was yeah. watching, what I was watching Forrest Gump, just fucking like Simple Jack. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen Tropic Thunder? Yeah, it's on one of the I most under, did. it's one of the oh, most underrated movies. Oh, though. Mark, if we're going to, dude, if we're going to like, if we're going to watch any movie, the next movie we watch as a group or whatever, we got to watch Tropic Thunder. Ping that's Pong Champion? Bit. That's not retarded. That's a, that's a bit. Oh, dude, racist on his way? Dude. What, dude, Robert Downey Jr. goes blackface. <laughs> like, yeah, I know about that. I know about that. <laughs> his, so yeah. I, I, I listened to an interview with him, and he, his mom really did not want him to play the part. Oh, yeah, I saw the I saw with him and Robert Downey Jr. with uh, Joe Rogan. That podcast was awesome. Yeah. She's like, yeah, like, she didn't want him Babby. to do it. <laughs> Babby, I don't it. think this is a great idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love his reason. He's like, I get to be black for a summer. Yeah. <laughs> like, in a good way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, and he's like, and all the heat wasn't on me. Everyone was pissed off about Simple Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was like, It was blackface and retarded in the same movie. Yeah, yeah. The bloggers had to pick one. <laughs> <laughs> and, they went, <laughs> and they went with Simple Jack. Simple it's Jack. hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Ben Stiller got ridiculed. His dad died the other day, man. Jerry? Yeah, Jerry Stiller passed away. Of Comvid 69? Did he have no. COVID? No, no, no. What no. is Comvid? Wow. <laughs> Comvid 69. Okay, that's, well. that's that sounds like a video. Comvid 69. There you go. How did Jerry die? That's crazy. 
Well, I'm assuming he, that motherfucker was old when he was on the Seinfeld show, let, let alone now. Yeah, he's been old his whole acting career. He was old. I, he was like over 50. He's been old as long as he's been old. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Seinfeld. Oh, uh, give, little, him the, uh, give him the Neil Peart salute. Give it to him. Little, little Richie died too. Who? Little Richard. Who's little Richard. That? Fucking What's rock that? legend. What do you mean? Bro. Little what Richard. Little what Richard. What was he in? You keep, keep oh just saying God. it. This is like, if we were playing was, charades, you guys just keep saying the same word. This isn't helping me at all. Well, first of all, if you're playing charades and we were speaking, rock you're legend. fucking charades. Rock legend. Rock legend. Legend. Rock legend. That's all you keep saying. So I obviously didn't get it the first time. I'm going to beat you and say paper legend. Paper. Scissors. Cause, cause who is <laughs> Spock. Who is he? What band? Little Richard. Oh, no, he's oh, he's oh, he's an artist oh, himself. Shit. He's not in a band. Do you know how Beyonce is uh, just Beyonce? Little Richard. Well, little Richard is, crew died is, the other day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he's his own act. He's just, he's he's little Richard. Not very good then. I've never heard him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're white, so that would also be a reason why you haven't heard of him. Baby. What does that mean? Piece of shit, whitey. White privilege child well, toucher. What does me being white have to do with this? It all has to do with everything. How? Because you can't be white anymore. That's why I lucked out being a redhead. Be, like, honestly, being a redhead in the times of white people now is fantastic. Because technically, I got different colored skin, so I can technically get away with that technically. Also, again, to white, to racist white people, I'm not white. A lot of racist white people are gingers. So I don't know where you're going with this. Yes, but there's a lot. Dude, do you know how many t- there's been a lot of signs of like people saying this is little Richard. Oh yeah. Sounds like a fucking kazoo. Is he playing a kazoo? It's Tootie Fruity. Why didn't you say that? Why didn't you say it was the guy who sings Tootie Fruity? Would have got it. I forgot he sang Tootie Fruity. <laughs> I yeah. thought it was fucking Frankie Lyman or something. I thought it was gum. <laughs> that was good. Fruity. <laughs> Tony Frody. I love you, Tony Frody. Okay, back to Forrest Gump because we got wildly off track there. I just, I, there's just a lot of fucking scenes in that movie that are hilarious. Every time he talks, it's funny to me. When he runs, it's hilarious to me that he just decides to get up and run for no reason. <laughs> People are like, hey, it's Forrest. <laughs> He's just all ass and everywhere. Like, Dude, the blind. Yeah, I just started running. He worked. <laughs> okay, when I worked at the gym in Orangeville, there was this one kid they hired to clean and he would clean like while we were working out. And this, whenever he had to go to from point A to point B, he would just sprint like just <laughs> for no reason at all. And it would freak <laughs> us all out. There's nothing funnier than an unprovoked sprint. Like he was in jeans. <laughs> you know, he would like, that's a, that's a good point. It was the weirdest just, thing. If you're just in an environment and someone just starts sprinting, <laughs> it's there's a lot of people funny. that are like, just like, wait, like, should we be running too? Yeah, it's <laughs> wild. It catches you um, off guard. It's, yeah. uh, it fucks your whole day up, pretty much. I was, I remember. Uh, it would, I don't know how it fuck your day up, but. <laughs> because <laughs> it's always like fucking these <laughs> footsteps pounding behind you, and all he's doing is like plugging in a vacuum cleaner, but he's just, it's like a deer. <laughs> it's just like listening to a deer run around you the whole time. Was he fast as shit or what? He was pretty fast. I'll give him that. He was pretty fast. fast. Well, yeah, dude. It's he much better with a fast. Like if somebody just hauls off and they're oh, holy fuck. <laughs> it's, just, it's that much better. <laughs> it's almost like he wanted us to compliment how fast he was. I'll do that. But he was I'll, way. I'll sprint, I'll sprint to show people. He was way too old to be doing it. I'll say yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but he also, you said like he was special, right? You were saying? No, he wasn't. Well, he was, well, there was clearly something going on, but I, as far as I knew, he wasn't special. I didn't. So he wasn't just wearing his magic shoes. He was a little different, but like, I don't know, I just a guy. He what didn't run. He, he didn't sprint. Look at you, be like box of chocolates. No, <laughs> just just they take me anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I run as fast as the wind blows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he loves that movie. I don't know. Of course, she used to beat me with a rubber hose. Tell <laughs> me, tell me your talent. <laughs> yeah, Jenny is a gargantuan whore. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I love that. Yeah, now, now that I have AIDS. Yeah, yeah, I'll fuck what you. What a fuck. 
You want to fuck? Peter <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, too. Lieutenant Dan's a G. Yeah, man. Don't Tim is Bubba. Go. Bubba was the nicest character in that movie. Yeah, he just wanted to tell you how much shrimp he got. Before? Bubba got shrimp. Coconut shrimp. Barbecue shrimp. Barbecue uh, he, shrimp. Bubba's Yoga. the guy at the party who would show shrimp. you a picture with him and Tom Hanks or something. <laughs> he would, he would, he'd be the guy who uh, hung out with fucking Jim Morrison last week. Yeah, Mem shrimp. <laughs> Man, that, shrimp. When you talk like that, I'm, I'm just <laughs> just voice lines in the fucking uh, what's that movie called? Uh, the Ringer <laughs> with Knoxville. Oh, Knoxville. <laughs> yeah. You scratched my feet. Does, does everybody that's, that's watching this right now just quoted in their head the same line? Yeah, yeah. When yeah. the fuck do we get ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the fuck do we get? Ice cream? Uh, my favorite part in that whole movie, though, I know that's not a serious movie, is when they find out that he's he's not retarded. It's got a good he's message. Just doing it for the money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ah. In a way. In a way. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's it's wholesome. It's it's warm hearted. It's it's during that time when everyone's like that's offensive, but everyone's like, but we'll do it anyway. <laughs> now yeah. we're the time we're like, that's it'll offensive. make somebody laugh. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It always will. Tropic Thunder, Forrest Gump, and that movie you just mentioned would not get made right now. Forrest Gump would be made. No, it absolutely. Wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. You guys got any other serious movies or TV shows that just make you laugh your ass off that you weren't supposed to? Minecraft. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That was a joke. Wow. No, yeah. Oh, you're actually heartless. No. It's heartless. Well, I'm um, a redheaded German, bro. I don't get more heartless than heartless. You were having a good time before you came in with all your Nazi paraphernalia. You fucked everything up. No, honestly. My Nazi paraphernalia, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude, in the eyes of Hitler, I'm or not perfect. In the good. eyes of Hitler, you're yeah, you're not wrong. You're still a servant, though. No servant. I wouldn't say that. So would you be like Hitler Youth? Is yeah, Hitler is? Youth. Yeah. I feel like I look like Hitler Youth, but no, I'm 26. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not educated enough to understand that. Uh, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, it's I'm weird. not woke enough for Hitler Youth. <laughs> <sighs> do you know what I? I, I have to found this layers because I was curious on on like why people's skin pigments are different the one day okay. i was high out of my mind yeah i was wondering like why why you're translucent like, yeah why am i translucent but yeah i have these fucking spots of color all over me and and it's just the pigment right it's just that's all it is in the dark the more uh light your your uh sorry the less light the pigment takes in the darker it is because black reflects no, sorry black absorbs all color so white reflects it. So the other way around, sorry. So the darker it is, the more light it takes in, the less it reflects. That's why darker skin colors. So if, and that happens after years of fucking shit. What are you doing, Mark? What the fuck is that? My crash and burn it. Go ahead. Go fuck yourself. No, I was thinking. Go ahead, goose. Yeah. Well, just fuck goose. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you interrupting fucks. <laughs> after like fucking years of like humans being like in the equator and like going north, and shit, the skin pigments adjust depending on the sun. So if Hitler no won, shit. if Hitler won and took over the world, killed all the minorities, and there's only white people, in 10,000 years, they'd be black people again. Is that how it works? Yeah, because the that skin would works? adapt to being in the sun and near the equator, and after years, yes. yes. I, can, I can leave you in the fucking sun for the rest of your life. You're not turning black. So I don't know what you're going on about. Generations of people, <laughs> you dumb fuck. What is he going on about? Fifth. All right, whatever. I don't. What care. are you going on about right now? This this is no. a high thought because there's no Be- logic to it whatsoever. Yes, there is. Absolutely. No. Absolutely. Yes. No. The people's skin pigment has adapted to be able to take as much sun more near the equator than the poles because it's it's a stronger sun source. At the equator, then the poles. I that's why that. you'll I find bu- more, more dark. That's not color how it works. Skin. Yes. Then why do black? Why do black people get sunburns? Then it doesn't make. They should be fine yes. with getting the sun. No, they still get sunburned. They. Just that's what I said. Just, yes, but not. They get it not as fast as white people do. You're what? full of shit. You're full no, of not. shit. You're. S- <laughs> open this your whole mind. Thing. I am not putting my mind. You fucking read the Bible every night, don't you, you fucking creationist? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs>
No, but that the point I was making no, is that as much as Hitler, let's book. say Hitler won and did all that shit, after years in that, how evolution would work is that our skin would adapt to be able to take the sun more. So it would go darker. And that's why people can tan better than others. I don't you think that's how it works. I don't yeah. Think that works. I love how you say you don't know how it works. So I'm wrong, but you don't know. You don't know. Yes, I looked this shit up. That's how pigment works. That's yeah. how skin pigment works. Here yes. we go. You're f- oh, no. yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. This guy doesn't know. So he pleads the ignorant yeah. card. With you me. got so all it. Like, well, if I don't know, then you don't know. This is a fucking Alex internet. Jones. This is an Alex Jones theory if I've ever heard one. This is the most no, outlandish no. shit I've ever heard in my life. So if I leave my son... And then he leaves his son in the sun. Generations! Sun. Generations! I said my son's son. So I, if I train my kid's son, he trains his kid to sit in the sun. He trains his kid to sit in the sun. We are black now. That's yeah. what you're saying. You're an yes. idiot. Idiot. You're a fucking moron, dude. That's not what I'm saying, Dylan. That's but exactly that's what you just it. said. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, that's not what that's I'm saying. That's verbatim what, what you just said. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. No. You said over generations, first of all, the first more of all, sun, you, how, the blacker you get. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> Are you going to put that on a fucking t-shirt? Like, <laughs> I didn't say it. You and Alex <laughs> Jones fucking conspired it. Listen here, you flat earther. Just because <laughs> we're making the frogs gay doesn't mean... <laughs> frogs gay. <laughs> no, okay. Well, then, all right. If you frogs don't think I'm wrong, if you think I'm wrong, then where did white people come from? Because if everyone came from Africa, everyone came from fucking Africa, how did white people show up? I don't care. South Africa... By the way, South Africa's... All- Predominantly white, so I don't even know what you're yes, on. Yes, because they're closer to a pole. There it's right there by the South Pole. You there dumb fuck. Fucking invaded by the British. And the British are coming. Too. Yeah, yeah. In two ways, the British were coming. So <laughs> yes. that's why there's a lot of white people down there. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. From us? There's white people in South Africa. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, Britain laid their seat across <laughs> the world, <laughs> like Genghis Khan. Hey, man, we got Charlie Theron out of it. I'm just saying, we're one and zero. So, I mean, that's cool. One and oh in that invasion. <laughs> um, Does that make a square? <laughs> yeah, Charlie's there. <laughs> yeah, what, what was about her yesterday? What about her? Oh, fuck, let me look. It was in my group chat. Anyway, you're so wrong. Charlie's no. was in your group chat? No. What a fucking celebrity flex on us. Yeah, I got a picture with her. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, 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 no. Never mind. He was at the shrimp barbecue. Shrimp, shrimp. Okay, any more theories you want to air out on here? Yeah, no. Forrest Gump is really good, guys. <laughs> this is all from Forrest yeah. Gump. Dude, did you know that movie's about Nazism? That was another lie. Now, you that is an Alex Jones statement. What no, I'm saying what actually you makes just sense. Said. Just because it you're, makes sense. No, just be, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Just because you can't wrap your little fucking white ape brain around it doesn't mean I'm wrong. Uh, my ape, I was racist. Hey. Uh, what? How is that racist? <laughs> I said, how is that racist? So wait, you're saying, who Who do you think was here first then? White people or black people? It's according to your theory. God, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, fucking Jesus. Okay, well, you can't ask me some chicken in the egg question. Who was here first, white people or black people? According to your know. son theory. It's your son theory. Well, put in the I don't have a mind. kid. It's your, so did, was black, were black people here first and they just faded to white, according to you? Or did, was there white people <laughs> yeah, here first the and they darkened self. up? They all got the same self treatment. How do you get Asian skin no, then? How do you get Asian skin? Enlighten me. <sighs> One sec, gentlemen. <laughs> this theory is fucking preposterous. Mark, it's killing me that you're not saying anything right now. I'm I'm doing the right thing here. You gotta pick your battles, man. <laughs> gentlemen, uh not to be a dick, but my grandma's calling me. Yeah, can we wrap this up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quick quick uh, though, where did Asian skin come from though? Real quick. I don't know. Corner store? 
<laughs> wow. Wow. What kind of a question is that? Where does Asian skill come? Where does Asian skin come from, you I racist? Saw, I can't wrap my head around this theory you're presenting me with. That's all. It's, it's nothing to do with the skin. It's the pigment. But don't worry. Once you understand what pigments are, then you'll understand. All right, on that note, let's get the fuck out of here. Listen to Adele, watch Forrest Gump, and uh, and uh, and we will always have different colored people in the world. That's yeah. the message, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that, Dylan. It's not because of the sun. It's not because of the sun. Yes, is it, is. it is because of the sun. The no, it is. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to take back my audition piece where I call Marco for being a cunt. I'm just going <laughs> to – I'm swapping teams. Fuck D. Grizzle. Okay. Hey, I'm man. on a, I'm on team Amelia. Just cuz I don't say <laughs> just cuz I don't say outlandish shit. Open your mind you flat earther. Open my mind. Hey look, okay. if you're choosing between this fuck and a beautiful Polish girl, I mean, I think you're making the right choice here. I think exactly. you chose the right team for them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and, and, I, and I can tell you this, Mark. Yes, the sir. Germans know how to handle the Polish. So you're in good hands. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm glad we discussed volumes of racism on this podcast. If we're going to do it, you're going to do it with me. Okay. I'm going to go eat or something. I don't know. <laughs> I got to get out of here. I got to go right. right. I'm glad I can. Another <laughs> illustrious episode of the Brush Group Podcast. Illustrious or yeah. racist? Okay, go ahead. Uh, See you guys. This has been another episode of the Brush Group Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Go listen to Adele. Go watch Forrest Gump. Go watch Tropic Thunder. Go watch that scene where dude bangs his head off the pole and falls in the electric shock, whatever the fucking Titanic. I've yet to see it, but go watch it. And uh, eat a dick and have a good one. Later. Love you. How to stop this. Thanks for watching. Since you're here, why not take the time to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Also, check out Brush Crew on Spotify, Spreaker, TikTok, and Instagram. And uh, that's, that's all I got. <laughs>